everybody. My name is Tanya Fugit, and hopefully you don't send any new auto-tunes. Um, but I had a dream this morning, and in the dream, I had a bag of um, cleaning supplies in the dream. And then the cleaning supplies, supplies, I had it like in a plastic bag, and in the dream, the bag began to vibrate. And I was like, what is going on? And someone asked me what I had on there. And I said, I just have natural cleaning supplies in there. And then they opened up, somebody opened up the bag. And all of a sudden you could see um, just this uh, plant just growing like wildfire. Like you could actually see it growing. And um, they said, what do you have in there? And I said, baking soda. And then like the dream just switched to um, an actual box of baking soda. And in the dream it said, confectioner's baking soda. And then I woke up and I began to look up um, baking soda in plants. It turns out there's a whole thing, a whole host of reasons of why people would use baking soda for their plants. So I'm gonna do a little experiment. I want to take, um, maybe I should try it on these tomatoes. I'm going to take um, these tomatoes, water one with just water and water the other one with baking soda and see which one grows the best. <laughs> see which one grows the fastest. So, um, let's see what happens guys. Um, I have um, I have what, uh, let me see. This is about four cups of water. Both of them will have fertilizer. Um, it, what you see that dirt in the bottom, it's fertilizer. So both of the plants will have um, the water with the fertilizer in it. Um, and one is going to be getting an additional boost of uh, baking soda. That is a one fourth um, teaspoon, but I only filled up like one fourth of this teaspoon. So it'd be like one sixteenth. Um, so let me go and do that. All right, so I got the baking soda and um, put it in the water and poured it inside this little um, cup. I mean, this little bowl here and let it just soak up the baking soda water. So I'll keep tabs on it and I'll see if it's doing better than the rest of um, my tomato plants, which, which will all germinate at the same time. Um, and so we shall see. So the funny thing about it is when I looked up the baking soda to see why would God be you know, showing me that, um, and why would he put confectioner's baking soda? I never heard of such a thing. And confectioner means you know someone who makes sweet and apparently if you like your tomatoes sweet sweeter then um gardeners have known to put um baking soda on their tomatoes well in the soil or something like that but um i like my tomatoes as is i don't really like them sweet so i'm never really had a sweet tomato i don't know well so we'll see <laughs> we'll see if these come out sweet and i also need to find out how often do i give it you know the baking soda um so today is may 13th um i'll be doing my research maybe you guys know you can tell me in the comments if you've ever used baking soda on your plants and tell me you know what success you had i know that you can use the baking soda to as um for uh, powdery mildew but that's like as a topical you know you could spray it on your plants but God specifically showed me um, that the, the plants were to ingest the baking soda and so what I saw was I saw roots growing and I saw plant the um, foliage growing in my dream so um, but uh if you guys know of any uses of baking soda i would love to know so you can put it in the comments below otherwise i'll check back with y'all let y'all know maybe in a week's time to see if these things did anything spectacular um if they look better than the rest of my 
um, than the rest of my uh, tomato plants, then I'll update you on that. Or if, you know, God forbid, some they, you know, die, maybe I put too much baking soda on it. I don't know. So, all right. Well, there you have it, guys.